May 19, 2019 Fifth Sunday of Easter A reading from the Acts of the Apostles After Paul and Barnabas had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed elders for them in each church, and with prayer and fasting commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. The Word of the Lord I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever, my King and my Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let them make known your might to the children of Adam and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages. Your dominion endures through all generations. I will praise your name forever. My King and my God. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them and they will be his people, and God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing, or pain, for the old order has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
When Judas had left them, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and God will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. I give you a new commandment. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you also should love one another. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord.